Hey guys, so today I am talking about Wilkie Collins' No Name. This was one of the deepest books I've ever read and it has one of the most tragic heroines, I suppose. Um, I am obsessed with 19th century literature or Victorian literature and that's what I've been reading lately. If you follow my vlog channel, you can see that I read a lot and I never get to make videos about them because I have two small children. This small children number two, who is trying to climb my tripod right now, sit, hold the book. So, this is a book about two sisters. There's Nora the eldest, she's about 26 when the book starts, and Magdalene, the youngest sister who's around 18. <laughs> And I would say it's a tragic love story. Magdalene suffers in this book, and you really get to see her suffering. You really get to experience the emotions that she goes through, the dread, the heartache, and the pain. I believe that she feels responsible for the situation that her and her sister end up in. I, I really felt for her in the beginning. I felt sorry for her. I felt awful. So the story is, is that through a series of very unfortunate events, they end up being disinherited by their father's will on his death. So I have a love-hate relationship with this book. In one, the writing is masterful, the storytelling is amazing, the characters are deep and interesting and tragic, and the circumstances that affect these girls' lives and the paths they take I believe show examples of how choices affect you in life. I don't know how I would rate this book because I feel so torn about it. So I, I saw the choices that Magdalene was making and I disagreed with how she went about trying to avenge herself on the people that end up stealing her fortune that's rightfully hers from her and her sister. And I can tell she felt she, this was a point of stress in her life too, like she was not completely comfortable with the choices she was making. And my kid's shaking the tripod. And that, those choices she made and that path that she just made herself go on, the stress that she put herself through, Magdalene's pain is a central theme of this book and her transformation um, she chooses to do a lot of wrong things and she has to bear the consequences of them. And in the end, I believe she hates herself and she feels like those she loves hate her. And it was just a story of beautiful redemption because she finds out in the end the people that she loves, the people that she tried to sacrifice all this stuff for, the people that she tried to help, in the end still love her even after all the the bad choices that she made. And she made these bad choices for what she thought was good reasons. And there's another character in this book, Captain Rag. I, I don't really know how to say his name. Captain Rag. <laughs> he is kind of somebody who influences her and manipulates her a little bit. And also she tries to like manipulate him, but he knows what's going on because he's an adult and she's like 18, 19 when the story is going on. There's just a lot of darkness in this book. I wouldn't read this book if you're not okay with confronting a lot of darkness. There's a lot of darkness, a lot of anguish and despair, but a lot of light and hope at the end. So I would probably give this book a nine out of 10. I loved it and I also didn't love it because it makes you confront ideas and situations that aren't very pleasant and that hurt, that physically and emotionally hurt you to go through. But I couldn't put it down. Every time I was nursing Becky, I was trying to read it. Um, I even tried reading it when I wasn't nursing, which it's really hard to do with small children. Um, I really liked Nora, the eldest sister. Um, she's kind of a backdrop character, but I... I love her steadfast resilience and her mastery of adaptation. Like she has to adapt herself in many different situations. 
Whereas I feel Magdalene, the younger sister, spends most of her time reacting and trying to control certain situations. It was an interesting read. And I know um, I haven't really talked much about the plot, but you're going to have to read it to find out yourself. Um, I don't really make synopsis videos, but I like to make reaction to videos. So this is a reaction to the book No Name by Wilkie Collins. I will be reading all of his books because I like him better. I like Wilkie Collins better than Charles Dickens. He is my favorite Victorian lit writer. I think he is the best writer of the Victorian era. He's amazing and I love his books. So yeah, there is my reaction to Wilkie Collins' No Name. He said it because he had scared with it. But the book and the darkness went to the back of trying to Whoa, Becky. Everybody got to say. This is why I don't I make don't videos very know. much anymore. <laughs> but this is not pretend because I be eyes being high and my heart parents, she's tired of this in the dark. Darkness.